nagpapalipin Kailan pa maglilingkod sa Diyos na nagbigay Sa buong buhay mong tinatagalan Kung wala ka ng lakas at wala na rin bukas Kailan susunod sa ating tagapagligtas Kung hindi ngayon Maaaring uli na kong ipagpabukas pa Kung hindi ngayon ay malilimot mo lang ang iyong pagpapasya. Kung hindi ngayon, kailan pa maglilingkad sa ating Panginoon? Kung hindi ngayon, ay mawawalan ka ng panahon. Inihintay ka niya ngayon. Kailan pa maglilingkod sa Diyos na nagbigay sa mga buhay mong tinataglan kung wala ka na lakas at wala na rin bukas kailan susunod sa ating tagapagligtas kung hindi ngayon maaari kung ipagpabukas pa Kung hindi ngayon ay malilimot mo lang ang iyong pagpapasya Kung hindi ngayon kailan pa maglilingkat sa ating Panginoon Kung hindi ngayon ay mawawalan ka ng panahon Hinihintay ka niya ngayon Lord God Napakaganda po ng awitin. Ano po ba? Yung laman ng awitin. Amen. Kailan pa tayo maglilingkod kay Lord? Kapag end stage ka na, kapag wala ka nang magagawa, kapag nakaratay ka na, purihin po ang Panginoon dahil hinihintay po niya tayo ngayon at dumating po tayo sa biyaya po ng Panginoon na taglay po natin ang hininga ng buhay. Amen. At sa ating po mga live streamers, ipagpaumanhin po ninyo kung nakaka-experience po tayo ng mga kaunti mga technical problems. So, pagpaumanhin niyo po, please bear with us po. Amen. So kung namamatay po ang live stream, standby lang po kayo, ginagawan po ng paraan ng IT. Amen. So intercede po tayo, nawa, hindi po maging hadlang kung ano man po yung mga balakid 
ano man mga principalities na nais pong maging hadlang para madinig ang salita ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Amen. So sa pagkakataon pong ito, handa na po ba tayo magpa-transform kay Lord? Amen. Napakaganda ng message ni Lord ngayon. Excited po ako. Ang pamagat po ng ating message ay Transform from the Book of Romans 12.2. So tinatawag ako na po ang ating pastor, Pastor Christopher Aguilar. Palakpakan po natin ang ating nag-iisang Diyos na buhay. Praise the Lord to everybody. Are you blessed, church? Amen. Amen. Are you excited? Amen. Lahat po na excited magsabing praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Lahat nang natutulog magsabing Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. And all the time. Amen. So now we're live, uh, we're live ano po, even sa Australia, in California, from west to far east. Amen. God is good. At napakabuti ng Panginoon and we would like to uh, um, uh, greet ang ating pong kapatid na nagtawas ng kanyang kaarawan, si Brother Buboy. Amen. Last November 1st, happy birthday. Amen. And of course, ang, our very own uh, Brother Herbie, he will celebrate his birthday. Uh, yung date nakalimutan ko eh. So, happy birthday, Brother Herbie. And of course, kay Brother Sherwin, malapit na. <clears throat> malapit na ang Bukari. <laughs> God is so good. And welcome, brothers and sisters, for all the first-timers. Amen. And we want to invite you again for the next Friday and the next Friday. And after noon, brothers and sisters, kayo na po ang mag-invite. You will invite others. Amen. And I would like to, of course, uh, welcome my sisters ano po, sa BDF. Amen. Namiss ko kayo. Amen. Sister Joss Joy and Sister Jen. And of course, ang ating pong mga live streamers right now, they are watching. I know that God may plano po ang Panginoon sa ating lahat. Amen. Do you want to be transformed? Do you want to be changed? The hardest part, being human, is change. The Philippines, having hard time para magkaroon ng change is coming. A lot of people, they don't want to be transformed. They don't want to be changed because most of them, they are already comfortable of what they have. Amen. But I'm telling you right now, there is a word transformation that everyone must know and do not allow yourselves to leave this place na hindi po kayo transform because the Bible talks about transformation. Amen. Hindi po itong transformer na kailangan mong mag-adjust or you don't need to be to undergo transgender. <laughs> Bawal po ang transgender dito. Amen. Kung anong binigay na kasirian sa atin ng Panginoon, if God made you a male, be a male. If God made you a female, be a female. Amen. There's no such thing as transgender. Amen. Baka po hindi ka makilala sa langit. <laughs> Amen. I'm just making things clear. Amen. So, may I request the congregation to please stand and let's open our Bible in the book of Romans, chapter number 2, verse 2. 12, sorry, because I was about to find my stick. Okay, so wala yung stick. <clears throat> Amen. Huwag niyo sabihin na ito yung, aking, uh, uh, ito yung aking magic. No, it's not. In the book of Romans, chapter number 12, verse 2, the Bible says, And be not conformed to this world. Huwag daw tayo magsiayon. Magsiayon. Sa takbo ng mundo. But be ye transformed. So kailangan po natin matransform, brothers and sisters, in such a way that God will accept us. Amen. Thank you, Brother Archie. Nag-boy scout si Brother Archie. And then, cub scout, boy scout, and then nag-CMT. Kaya laging handa. <clears throat> Conform to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. Let's give Him a hand clap of praise. Come on, church. Let's worship Him one more time. Jesus. Amen, Lord God. Jesus. We thank You, Father. Lord God, Jesus. We glorify Your name. 
Thank you, Father God, Lord Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, Lord. Lord God, Jesus, you open this church, Panginoon Lord, to transform us. You open, Panginoon Lord, ang hope, Panginoon Lord, for every soul in this earth, Lord, that they will be transformed according to your likeness, O oh Lord God, Jesus. Lord, I know this message is just a reminder for all of us, O oh Lord. May your holy presence be upon us. You are our great teacher. You are the great King of kings and Lord of lords, O oh Lord God, Jesus. Mangusap po kayo sa amin, Lord. Speak to us, O oh Lord God, Jesus. Now, oh Lord, mag-open ang aming mga mind and hearts, O oh Lord God, Jesus, as we listen sa iyong mga salita. Let your sons and daughters, Lord God, Jesus, be filled with the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. You may be seated. Praise God. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. A lot of churches, a lot of churches, they preach about remodeling. Remodeling. Bihira lang po among churches, only few churches that they preach about repentance. One farmer, one time, meron po siyang pig. You know what is pig? No? Anong other name ng pig? Hug? Huh? Huh? Swine, swine. Swine. <laughs> so, he want this swine to be clean. Amen. So, what he did every day is washing this pig or this swine with a very expensive shampoo. Amen. And this pig or this wine, every day, is not comfortable staying in one place. It's going to a dirty place. After taking a bath for so long and spend a lot of money giving shampoo, yung pig na yun or swine, you just play around sa dirt. At the end of the day, it's full of dirt. It's full of dirt. This is the problem, brothers and sisters. This is the nature of swine. Ito po yung nature ng mga baboy. They don't want to be clean. Right? Maybe you have your own dogs. You experience this. After taking them a bath, you give them a warm shower. At the end of the day, they will just play around because this is their nature. Amen. But we are not swine. We are not dogs. We are human beings. And the church, na nakikinig kayo ngayon, we are not remodeling any souls in this church. We are rebuilding the souls of this church. Amen. Kasi po, ang change, it comes within. It comes within. Some churches, they don't preach about repentance. Sasabihin nila, as long as you are giving your tithes and offerings to the church, kaliwali, it doesn't matter what kind of life you have, what kind of, 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 of job you have, irregardless kung ano po. No, we are not. God came here not to remodel us, but to rebuild us, to save us from our sins. Amen. Kaya nga po, if you will hear the word of God, Amen. If you heard yung pong sound of doctrine na pinipreach all over the world, kung saan man po kayo mapunta, it's time for you to change because the time is at hand. Malapit na pong dumating ang Panginoon. And God wants to transform us. Amen. In such a way that we must live according sa Kanyang likeness, according sa Kanyang holiness. Because nevertheless, you will not be saved. You will not be saved. I'm telling you, I'm not speaking on my own sake. It's written in the Bible, brothers and sisters, that only those who believe in Christ shall be saved. I will not argue with the book of life. I will not argue sa book na binigay po sa atin. Because the fact of the matter is, nandyan na po at nakasulat na that the time is at end that Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Amen. Kaya if you are still living right now sa crooked way of life, hindi ka pa rin straight, you need to be transformed. You need to be transformed. Kailan? Pastor, 
pagka okay na ako, pag mayaman na ako. No. Salvation is today. Salvation is today. Because kahit na yumaman ka, you have all the riches in this world. You have all the money in this world. Pag tayo po'y pupunta na sa langit, if you will go to heaven, you don't need those possessions. It's just a waste. Amen. Kaya nga po, you are now sitting in the most crucial part of your life. If you are first time here, second or third time visitors, if you are sitting right now, this is your day and this is your wake-up call. The Bible talks about do not be conformed to this world because this world will be consumed. Ang mundong ito ay masusunog lang, brothers and sisters. Do you know that? It happens in Sodom and Gomorrah way back years and years and years ago. God is so serious sa mga sinners. Lagi po sinasabi, mga pastors sa Jewish Commission Ministry, si Pastor Chris, parang judgmental, he was almost condemn us. We are sin- No, no, I'm not condemning you, brothers and sisters, but God hates sin. He loves the sinner, like me, I'm a sinner, but God hates sin. Amen. You cannot live, brothers and sisters, nandito ka sa church, at the end of church, babalik ka sa dati mong buhay, that you are making your own ways, not according sa ways ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Kaya most of the people, they are conforming to this word. Sumasang-ayon sila sa takbo ng mundo. Lahat po, pag uso dito, dapat meron din siya. Amen. Amen. But this word, but this world na nakikita natin, yan po ay susunugin lang later on. If you don't believe me, brothers and sisters, read the Bible. Read the Bible. I'm not t- talking about, about something na mga fictions or, 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 or walang evidence base. I'm talking to you right now because the Bible talks about it. Amen. That the Lord, yung pong pagdating ng Panginoon, it will consume ang mundong ito. You will not see anything. Kaya lahat ng pinagpaguran mo, brothers and sisters, if you don't have time to God, ah, sasabihin mo, next time na lang, pag tumanda na ako, doon na ako ibibigay yung buhay ko sa, akin, sa ating Panginoon. It's, maybe it's too late. Maybe it's too late, brothers and sisters. So if I were you, you have to decide. Amen. Ang buong sabi ni Paul, But be ye transformed. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Two months back, brothers and sisters, we're talking about renewal, renewal of mind. Amen. Sabi ko nga uh, sa akin pong mga, mga, mga preaching sa, sa ating church, that you cannot change the mind of every individual. I cannot change your mind. Amen. Although you are listening right now, it's up to you. Maybe naglilisi, na, na, nakikinig ka, and then your, your brain started to, you know, uh, ina-analyze ang mga information. Ah, hindi, ayoko to. And then it just come out. But maybe two or three of you right now, uh, while listening sa Word of God, amen, napupunta yan sa inyong, sa inyong, sa inyong brain, and then, then it goes to your heart. And when in your heart, ano po, it will have this conviction and started to change your life. Amen. Now, I'm not talking about, uh, about physical things. Kaya nga sabi ko, we cannot change the mind of every, every individual. But we can change the heart of every individual to change his mind. Amen. What is in your heart? Yun po ang nanggagaling. Yun po ang nagdidirect sa iyong isip. Amen. Do you, do you, do you agree on that? Amen. Why, why do we have lie detector tests? Why do we have lie detector tests? Bakit we put all the vital signs? We put the blood pressure, we put the pulse oximetry, we put something in a wave ng ating pong mga minds. Amen. Why? Why? But hindi na lang yung utak yung, yung pairalin natin. Because some people who lies, amen, it will increase their heart rate. Right? Kapag ka nagsisimula ka ng maglay, your, 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 your heart will become because your heart will never lie. Your mind can lie. You can, you can tell, you can, you can say lie. Ang ganda ganda mo, Sister Venrose. Maybe sa the back of my mind, hmm, tutuo kaya, di ba? But the, the heart will never lie. Kaya nga po, how can we change the mind of every individual? How can we change by change, changing your heart to change your mind? Because yung pong inner part ng ating buhay, the heart speaks it. It speaks about it. Amen. Kaya nga, some, somehow, brothers and sisters, amen, if you will steal one thing, for example, may nakita kang iPhone 6, nandyan. 
Nandiyan. I'm just giving you some illustration. Hindi naman sa'yo. You saw the iPhone 6. Uy, iPhone 6 to ah. Hindi naman sa akin. Pero, kaya naman nakakita. And your heart still, and then you take it. You took it. Dahil nag-agree ang mind mo sa heart mo. But your heart, nagkaroon ng conviction. Sabi ng heart mo, no, 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 and then you took it. Kalas, you will be in trouble. That's why all the things na ginagawa mo, it comes from your heart. It comes from your heart. Amen. Your mind is just playing around. But what matters most, if you will be transformed, automatically, you will have a renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good. What is that good? Ano yung maganda sa kapwa mo? Ano yung maganda para sa Diyos? Amen. Because most of the time, whenever I'm inviting Brother Shane, can I invite you to the church? Oh, sorry, Pastor. Sorry, Doc. I have so many things. I have some laundries. I have so... Okay, ang sabi ng Bible, if you will not do the things that is good in the sight of God, you are committing sin. That's in the book of James. Amen. So, wala tayong escape, brothers and sisters. Amen. That is one of the Ten Commandments. Anong sabi ng Ten Commandments? Remember the Holy Sabbath day to keep you holy. Amen. In the book of James, ang sabi, the book of James, it mentioned that one of the Ten Commandments, isa lang po ang hindi nyo gagawin, nagkasala na kayo sa lahat. So do you think going to the church is not good? It's good. Because we gathered here, brothers and sisters, to glorify God, to worship the Lord. Why? At the end of your life, at the end of your life, where will you go? Heaven or hell? Nobody here will tell me that they want to go to hell. Sino dito ang gusto pumunta ng impyerno? Nobody. Only Digong. Only President. Duterte sinabi niya, I'd rather go to hell, to hell and my people to go to heaven. Amen. Sino dito ang gusto mo? Sino gusto mo pumunta sa hell? Nobody. Nobody will dare. You want to go to heaven? You want to go to heaven? Amen. So, if you want to go to heaven, do you need something? I mean, are you going to do something para po makarating ka sa puputan mo? You need, of course, you need some, some, some thing para makapunta ka sa langit. Amen. Who wants to go to Canada? Kunwari pa eh. Who wants to go to Canada? Huh? Amen. Amen too. Kaya lang dalawang kapatid, para sister, may iwan ka, sis? Iwanan na to. Okay. If you will go to Canada, you need what? You just go there. Punta ka lang dito sa Albander Club. Sumakay ka sa, sa, just take one boat and don't go to Canada. Maybe next year you will be there. Of course, may mga requirements. Right? So do you think going to heaven, walang requirements? Do you think? Walang requirements? Ha? Huh? Meron ba? I have to go something good. Okay. May prove that what is good is it acceptable sa Panginoon ang ginagawa mo. And is it perfect? Sabi nga, nobody's perfect. Meron po. Nobody's perfect. I do agree. But we need to be in perfection to see God. Amen. Nandun na po tayo sa perfection. Amen. We are sinners. We are sinners. Wala po tayong argument about it. Amen. But God wants us to be good and wants us to be acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. So, is there, are, are there any requirements? Meron. What are your requirements? Anong gusto po ng Panginoon? Next slide. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? Or sabi ni Paul sa 2 Corinthians chapter number 5. Makinig po tayo. Amen. Are you bored? No, amen. Second Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if any man be in, if any man be in, they use the preposition na in Christ. Amen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, is what? He's a new creature. Wow. If Christ not in your heart, 
then you are still alien. Amen. Kakaiba ka. You are not yet renewed. Gusto niyo po bang pagbabago? You know, the hardest part, sabi ko nga, pambungad ko kanina, the hardest part of every individual is change. Is change. I know. I know. You're having hard time. Meron akong kasama sa, sa hospital, uh, I mean, sa Alba. Sabi niya, Doctor, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you okay uh, seeing me uh, eating in my bed? Sabi ko, walang problema. There's no problem. There's no controversy. Because I cannot eat with the, with the pork and spoon. Okay, go on, go. Di po ba? Some people, they are comfortable doing these things. Amen. But of course, yun po yung pinakamahirap sa tao. Yung change. That's why, if Christ is not in you, kapag si Kristo ay wala sa buhay mo, you are not a new creature. You are still living in your old ways. Amen. When you were born in this earth, you don't know about Jesus. You don't know about Christ. You don't know about God. Maybe you heard it from your lola and lolo. Punta ka dito, punta ka doon, simba ka dito, simba ka doon. Amen. But at the end of the day, who is the Lord your God? You don't know. Madre, Mafi. Ah, hindi ko alam. Basta siya yung aking comporter. Siya. Di po ba? A lot of people, they don't know until now who is the Lord God. I'm not exaggerating things. Kung tatanungin mo po ang everyone, sino ang Diyos? Hindi nila alam ang sagot. The Bible says, you are a new creature if Christ is in you. So if Christ is not in your heart, then I'm sad to say, you are a, still living in all things. Amen. This is not a new religion, brothers and sisters. Maybe you get me wrong. Ah, mga born, born again na yan, mga ba. No. Born again is not a religion. Amen. Nasira lang po yung image ng mga religion na, dahil sa mga, mga, di ba yung, Lunda, lunda, gala, bala, di ba? Mga borbole, sabi. Mga born, born, born again. But born again is not a religion. It is a, it is a relationship. And nobody knows until nandiyan na si Christ sa buhay mo. Amen. Kaya nga po, we are inviting every nation, every tribes, every individual in this church. Why? Because we're not after religion. We are after sa relationship natin sa Panginoon. Amen. So all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become. All things are become. So you have to change, brothers and sisters. Amen. You have to transform yourself. Amen. Dahil po walang makakatulong sa inyo. I'm always telling this. Amen. I'm always telling this. Being, being a doctor, like you in example yan. Amen. I have, again, ang dami ko mga pasyente na. You are now learning a lot sa mga pasyente ko. Meron ang pasyente, is still in denial. No, taas na sugar niya. His sugar is so high. Amen. Yung kay hemoglobin A1C is around 12. Amen. I told him to start, uh, to start medication. No, 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 doctor. I have to start exercise. Exercising. Yeah, yeah. Exercise is good for your health. But you need this medication at least to lessen, to lessen your sugar. No, no. I'm not diabetic, doctor. Uh, I, know, I know myself. Okay. See, your record since two years, two years, the same. Hindi ka take ng medication. So, regardless anong advice, even I will give you the most, the most wonderful advice in this world. If you yourself, you don't want to be changed, amen, it's up to you. It is your responsibilities. Amen. On your own. Amen. Right? Right? Amen. Because there are certain people na mag ng consultation. Doctor, I have this, I have that. Okay, why are you giving me this medication, doctor? Yeah, why? No, I want this, I want that. But come on, the doctor. Right? It's the same, spiritual things. Some people, they're asking advice. Pastor, magandang pang gawin ko. Okay, ganda. Ay, pastor, hindi, hindi. Magandang magas ng advice. Amen. If you're not ready to change, brothers and sisters, kalas, all things are become new. Amen. Let's see. Ang sabi po, sa next slide, Adam was formed in the image of God. Our forefathers, Adam, he was formed in the image of God perfectly. Hindi naman po pwede gumawa ang Panginoon ng perfect. When God created Adam and Eve, perfect po sila. Amen. But the problem is, sin entered and man became deformed. I'm always telling this, Brother Bilal, 
when God commanded Adam and Eve not to eat this forbidden fruit, how many fruits are there in the Garden of Eden? Maybe thousands of fruits. My atis, my, my, my manga, my ubas. My... Name all the fruits, brothers and sisters. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, except do not eat this. Okay? Day one, atis. Day two, banana. Day three, carrot, ABC. Day three, do what? Day eh. May do, do what? Ang tao, ang tao, ang gusto niyo lagi, yung bawal. People love to commit mistakes. Did God, did God, hindi ba winar ng Diyos sila? Right? Wala po bang nag-warm sa, mag, nag-warm sa atin, mga kapatid? How many of you wants to play a fire? Nobody will play a fire here. Kasi alam mo, mapapasok ka. Bakit? Hindi mo pa naman na-try. Kaya yung iba, nag experiment They want to try. They want to try. Amen. So, when Adam was created, he was so perfect. was perfect and sin entered and man became deformed. From form, now Adam became deformed. By the grace of God, we can be conformed not into this world. We can be conformed into His. One day we will be from form, deformed, conformed, and transformed. Amen. Sino ba ditong ayaw magbago? Sino ditong ayaw magbago? Lahat tayo gusto natin magbago. All of us wants to be changed. Right? Huwag kayong magbago during December 31 lang, ah? I promise myself not to smoke. I promise myself not to eat pork. I promise myself hindi na ako magbubunganga. I promise myself hindi na ako magmumura. January 1 pa lang, pagkagising. Anong ulam? Yung kagabi. Ha? Yeah! Di ba? Nag, di ba? Nangangako tayo. Minsan napapako. Amen. Next slide. Ano po ang sabi ng slide? God never meant for the flesh to be rehabilitated. It needs to be sacrificed. Now, ano yung pinaka-importante? Ayaw po namin magborloloy. Amen. We don't want people to change the way they are or the way they look. We want them to be changed inside. Inside and then it goes outwardly. You change and transformation. Amen. You cannot cheat God, brothers and sisters. You cannot cheat God. I'm telling you. Amen. If you want to be changed, the work of the Lord in our lives is not remodeling, but renewing us. Amen. Hindi po pinapaliguan dahil baboy ang mga, mga, mga ugali ng tao, but we are created by God according to His own image and likeness. That's why God wants us to be transformed. Amen. In the book of St. John, ano po ang sabi ng Bible? Are you ready, church? Yes. Amen. In the book of St. John, meron pong encounter si Jesus Christ. This is not a fairy tale. Hindi po ito mga fiction or mga kwentong barbero. Amen. One time, there was a man of the Pharisee named Nicodemus. Sabi mo nga sa atin Nicodemus. He's a Pharisee, brothers and sisters. Amen. He went to Jesus Christ. He was a ruler of the Jews. Amen. He is very, 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 very popular. His name is Nicodemus. He is a Pharisee. He knows the Torah. Amen. He knows the Word of God. Alam na alam po niya ang salita ng Panginoon. One day, the same came to Jesus by night. Imagine, John emphasized night because this Nicodemus, a Pharisee, nahihiya siya magpunta during the day because makikita siya ng mga ibang mga tao. The Bible will not tell the time without any purpose. Nicodemus went to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Next line, verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, pag sinabi po ang Bible na verily, verily, this is very important, very important. Behold, wake up. Amen. Hindi po ang Great Commission ang sasabi, hindi si Pastor Chris ang sasabi. The Bible tells us that, Barely, barely, I say unto thee, I say unto thee, except a man be, be, 
He cannot see the kingdom of Sino nagsabi, hindi po ang great commission. Oh, kailangan ma-born again. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ Himself. Si Jesus mismo. Oh, pastor, eh, ang reliyon ko mula pa nung pagkabata. Dito na ako binautismo, dito na ako kinumpil, dito na ako kinasal, dito na ako mamamatay. Do you want to be changed? Huh? The Bible talks about it, brothers and sisters, that unless a man, except a man, kung hindi po tayo ma-born again, this is not a religion. Again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. So, hindi ka na born again, hindi mo makikita ang kingdom of God. You will never see the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? Later on, I will talk to you. So, Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Tama nga naman. Logically speaking, how can a man be born again? Di ba? Nanay, sasabi, born again. Siguro sasabi ng nanay, paano ako magiging born again? Kailangan ako po bang bumalik sa sinapupunan ng aking nanay para ako ay may panganak muli? It's a logical answer. It's a logical answer. Amen. Sinabi niya, am I going to go back in the womb of my mom so that I will be born again? Amen. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Ang born again, hindi po ito reliyon. Born again is not a religion. It is something else which is deeper than religion which is a relationship sa ating Panginoon. Hindi po ito salita ko na nanggagaling. This is written. It is evidence based sa Bible. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So Nicodemus, ah, blah, blah, blah. and then God did not answer him. Unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So naborn again ka ngayon. Naborn again ka. Alive, alive. Di ba? Born again, ganyan, di ba? Alive, 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 forevermore. So now you can see the kingdom of God. Right? Because now you are born again. Now, ang sabi sa verse 5, verse 5, next scene. Jesus answered, barely, barely again. Behold, behold, important, important, gising, gising. I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Wow! So meron pala po talagang mga requirements. Now you are born again. You can see the kingdom of God. But meron pa pala po pasubali. You cannot enter enter into the kingdom unless you are be born of water and of the Spirit. So what is about water? What is about water? Water is just water. H2O. Ano bang function ng water initially? It cleanses. Panglinis. Right? You want to be renewed? Gusto mo ba ang amoy mo mabago? O masaya ka na sa amoy mo? Amoy chico? <laughs> Happy ka na ba? Sa amoy mo? Bakit ka naliligo everyday? To be fresh, to be renewed. So that all the dirty, dirtiest part of your body, it will be cleansed. So that's baptism. Baptism. In Jesus' name. You need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ to be saved. Evidence based in the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 16, kapag ikaw po ay naniniwala and baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you will be saved. And for those who doesn't believe, will be condemned. Amen. So now, born again ka na. You need another one. You have to be born of water of the Spirit. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So now you are born again, nakikita mo na. You want to enter into the kingdom of God? So ano po ang kailangan requirement? You have to be born of water and of the Spirit. Other than that, there's no point. Hindi po tayo makakapasok sa kingdom of God. Like OFW, di ba? Kung wala kang OEC, hindi ka makakapasok. If you don't have the OEC, you cannot enter. Or if you don't have the ticket, ticket na lang, ticket, ticket. If you are entering a pass, uh, an airport, Brother Bilal, okay, for the first time, they will, they will ask for your ticket. They will not ask about your visa. Where's your ticket? 
Ah, ito yung Okay, you can go. Now, nakapasok ka na. Right? Now, sa immigration, kahit may ticket ka, kung wala kang visa, sa pupunta mo, they will not allow you. Right? So, what you need is visa. It's the same. It's spiritual things. Wag po natin gawin biro-biro. Amen. Lahat tayo mamamatay. All of us will die. Maybe tonight, tomorrow, next year, next month. Amen. At the end of the day, ano na bang ginawa mo sa Panginoon? Did you do something for God para ikaw mas, ma, ma, masave? I have to tell you frankly, this is a serious matter. Every day, marami po pupunta sa impyerno because nobody preach about these things. Wala pong interesado because they want yung, yung wide range. Ah, dito, dito, walang bawal. Dito, okay lang. Dito, uh, kahit anong gusto mo, pwede mo gawin. No. There are some requirements that you have to comply. Amen. Next slide, verse 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born a... Sino nagsabi? Do you know Jesus? Who is Jesus? Jesus is God. Amen. And this message came from His mouth. Not from me. Not from any other else. This is from the book. The Bible. So, ang sabi po ng Bible, ye must be born again. Amen. You, know, you, know, you, you want to be transformed? You need to be born again. E regardless kung anong religion, any denomination, any tribe, any nations, any dialect you belong, you need to be born again. Because you will not be saved unless Christ is in you. If you are rejecting Jesus Christ, hindi ako naniniwala, he's just a, he's a prophet, he's just a man, he's just an every, uh, siya lang ay ordinary man. I'm telling you, you missed half of your life. Amen. Kaya nga po, today, if you are still not ready, kailan po kayo matatransform? If I were you, today is the day of salvation. Amen. Sabi mo, sabi mo, today is your day. Amen. Today is your day. Paano po mag-transform ang Panginoon? How God transform every individual? Ang sabi sa Romans, a Romans, Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing, and hearing, and hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing, and hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So, ang faith hindi siya darating kung nanonood ka lang ng TFC. Faith will never come if you are not going to the church. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Now you are hearing and hearing the Word of God. Now you are establishing yourself to build a faith. Faith is like a turkey's buyan. Faith and faith and faith and faith. Amen. Until ikaw na magsasabi, Pastor, I want to be baptized in Jesus' name. I love Jesus more than anything else. I love Him. I love God. Amen. More than anything else. Kaya sabi po, I want to be baptized because I want to see the kingdom of God and I want to enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. Right? Amen. So if I were you, brothers and sisters, do not delay. Do not delay. Do not delay. Because salvation is just like a snap of the finger. Ngayon yan. Ilyom. Ngayon Mekeni. Amen. What is today in, uh, in your language, Brother Raj? Today. Today. Abi, Abi, Abi. Oh, you learn, Abi. You, you sp speak the same language? Okay, Abi. Sabi saya, ano po yung sabi saya? Today. Karon. Mga Ilocano, Ilocano gayam. Ha? Karon, Karon. Ilocano. Ha? Subong. Parang sabong, ha? Subong. Karon, Subong, Abi, Nini. Amen. You want to go to the heaven? You want to go to the heaven? Eh, nandyan na nga eh. Imagine, nandyan na. Nandyan na yung way. Amen. Nandyan na. You can see the kingdom of God. Amen. Lahat, pumapasok na. Ikaw, hmm, pastor. Hindi pa ako nag-aasawa, pastor. Hindi ko pa nakita yung aking irog. If you are delaying these things, it's up to you. It's up to you. Amen. Okay. Okay pa ba? Can you guess, just give me five minutes? Amen. So, to sum it up, can we apply this principle of being transformed? Amen. Do you know Zacchaeus? 
Sa case, he's a tax collector. He's a sinner. Amen. Next slide. In the book of Luke. Next slide. Before tayo mag-end, alam ko, excited na kayo. Masarap ang ating pagkain ngayon. Tinapay. Amen. Sana may kape, ano? Sarap. Wow. Luke 19, verse 1 to 10. And Jesus entered and passed. Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Amen. I'm always telling you, kapag si Jesus Christ dumarating sa isang place, irregardless kung anong place yan, Jericho yan, uh, Galilee yan, may gagawin ng Panginoon. Amen. So, kanina, sinabi natin that Jesus Christ is here. So, I think, I think, it's not prudent na isipin natin if Jesus Christ is here, wala siyang gagawin ngayong araw na ito. May gagawin po ang Panginoon sa atin. Right? And Jesus entered and passed through Asraf. Yan. Through Asraf. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. So he was rich. He was the chief publicans, brothers and sisters. Amen. He came. He was so excited to meet Jesus. He heard about Jesus. He heard about the kingdom of God. He heard the wonders and miracles na ginawa ng Panginoon. Maybe you heard something na, ano kayong ginagawa sa Ashraf Tower ng Great Commission? Maybe you heard, uy, yung pastor nila dyan. Imagine, nag-suffer siya nun bago siya ma ma malipat sa Alba. Alam na nga kayong mga kasama sa BDF kung paano kami nag-struggle makalipat lang sa Alba. Uy, dyan sa, 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 sa Great Commission ngayon, may, may sakit ang kidney. Pinagaling ng Panginoon. Ay, may church dyan. Uh, he was about to, to, uh, to, uh, to have an heart attack. Amen. Na naginip yung pastor. And he warned this, this, this uh, brethren na safe po yung kanyang buhay. I think nanonood ngayon ng ating mga kapatid nasa France. Amen. Uh, ano pa? Ah, mawawala ng trabaho kapatid. It's a great commission. Through this church, pinagpray, nagkaroon ng job. Maybe you heard about it. And then somebody invited you right now. Amen. Let's say, ikaw si Zacchaeus. Mayaman ka. You don't need God. Mayaman ka. Sa overtime, mayaman ka. Sa lahat ng bagay. Amen. Next slide. Verse 3. And he sought to see Jesus. Imagine, he wanted to see Jesus. Sino kaya si Jesus? Who was, who he was? And could not for the press because he was little of stature. Sino pong mga pandak dito magsabing amen? Um, uh, anong pandak sa ano? Dwarf? <laughs> Dwarf? Uh, nasa ng Google, uh, Google Translate ko dito, Brother Sherwin. Amen. Zacchaeus, though he was very rich, siya po ay pandak. So, he wanted to see Jesus. He wanted to see Jesus. So, he was jumping, jumping, jumping. Amen. He cannot see Jesus. Amen. Kahit wala siyang, wala siyang transport, he wanted to see Jesus. Amen. Because he heard about Jesus. He learned about Jesus. He loved all about Jesus. But he wanted to see Jesus, who he was. Amen. But because he is so small, siya po ay maliit. Amen. He ran before St. Tumakbo and climbed up in a sycamore tree to see him for he was to pass that way. So dahil matalino, pong, matalino si, si, uh, si, uh, si Zacchaeus, he ran. Naganap siya ng isang lugar. So he climbed up sa sycamore tree. Ang tindi niya, no? You know, if you have the passion to see Jesus, if you have the passion to worship Jesus, if you have the passion to want to see Jesus, sabi nga, kapag gusto maraming, kapag ayaw maraming, amen. Name it. Di ba? Pag gusto mo makita ang Panginoon, brothers and sisters, ano po yung pinakamainam? Do your best. Ganun ang ginawa ni Zacchaeus. He wanted to see Jesus, umakyat siya sa sycamore. See? See? If you want to be transformed, you have to do your part. Amen. I cannot change you. I cannot change you. Kahit budburan pa kita ng mga preaching from day one to day 365 days, every day. Amen. If you don't want to be changed, kaliwali, it will not, you will not be transformed. But Zacchaeus, he ran before. Amen. Pwede po siya magdailan. He cannot see Jesus. Ha? Huh? Next, try, next time na lang, next week, next Friday na lang ko atin, dear. Kasi ano eh, alam mo naman, nag-usap kami ng habibi ko, umabot kami, may mga short fights, may mga short, mga... So ito lang yung time namin na mag-usap kami. Amen. So what happened? He climbed and he ran and he went to the sycamore tree for he was to pass that way. Verse 4. In verse four, 5. 
And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up. Nung nakarating ka sa Asraf, naka-elevator ka pa, no? Jesus saw you. He looked up and saw him and said unto him, hindi pa sila nagkakilala, Sister Nelia, hindi pa sila nagkaroon ng, ng personal, pero God knows your name. Amen. Hindi yan sinabi, oy, 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 baba ka nga dyan. No. Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, make haste and come down. You know, Church of God, bago mo maranasan that you need transformation, when God says, come down, magpakababa po tayo. Walang mayabang na maliligtas. You have to be humble and meek. The master called him, Zacchaeus, come down. If you are humble enough, kung mayabang ka pa rin, huh? Di ba? Ang dami mga reason. Walang alam ko, walang maliligtas na ambog. Because Lucifer, Lucifer, Satan, he was kicked out from heaven because of his pride. Zacchaeus, he was so rich. And when Jesus saw him, he looked up, he said, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down for today. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, today, I must abide at your house. See, sometimes, pag in-invite ka, ito pala yung turning point ng buhay mo. But Jesus is telling you to invite Him in your home, in your heart. And He made haste and and receive Him. Receive Him. Kaya if you have this joy, in-invite ka, Uy, talaga? Church? Wow, yes, I want to see Jesus. I want to praise God. Imagine, I was blessed middle of the night last night. May nag-text po sa akin, Pastor Chris, yes. Pastor Chris, duty po ako ngayon. Can you pick me up tomorrow? Sabi ko, duty siya. From night duty, pipick up namin siya at 8 o'clock in the morning and mag-duty pa siya for tonight. See, because I feel that I want to worship God. Wow! Nakaka-bless po yung ganun, mga mga gulat kapatid. Si Zacchaeus, when Jesus called him, Amen. He made haste and he came down with gladness. Masaya po yung kanyang puso. Right? I hope lahat po tayo na transform ng Panginoon, masaya tayo. Amen. Sasabihin mo, napakaganda pala yung feeling na nandun ka sa, sa, sa Asraf. You can feel the presence of God. Amen. And masaya. Nagingiti yan. Masaya. Parang nawala yung lahat ng mga bigatin. Verse 7. Verse 7. Dito na po tayo magtatapos. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was going to be guest with a man that is a sinner. Who is his sister? Nagaatenoy, may ba, may 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 babayan, may lala. Bayan sila. Forget them. Amen. If you have a proper relationship with Lord, brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter. Amen. Basta ang alam ko, wala akong ginagawa. Alam ko, malinis ako. Alam ko, ang Panginoon, kilala niya po sa I want them. Amen. Wag po kayo magpadale sa mga bulong. And Zacchaeus stood. Wala pa pong sinasabi ang Panginoon. Jesus Christ never said, Hi, hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Bye-bye. Hindi. Si Zacchaeus. Because the moment that he saw Jesus, and he had this humility, he came down. And he ran to Jesus with a joyful heart. Nandun na po yung transformation. Amen. The renewal of his mind and his heart, he wanted to see Jesus. Amen. Nothing can stop him. Even though he was a little bit smurf, malit, nothing can stop him because sabi niya, it's now or never. Baka magunaw na mundo next week. So ngayon na ako mag-aaten sa Asraf. Amen. So the moment that he has this momentum, that he wants to see Jesus, brothers and sisters, wala pa po sinasabi ang Panginoon, Wala pa sinasabi ang Panginoon. Naka, naka, nakatayo lang ang Panginoon. Wala pa sinasabi. Alam mo ang sinabi ni Zacchaeus? And said unto, Lord, behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. 
And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him for fault. Wow! Wow! Imagine, sino po ang nagpabago sa kanya? Ang Panginoon. And by himself, yung inner motives mo. Kaya ka nagpupunta sa church para makita mo lang si Brother Sherwin. Taken na po yan. Kahit gwapo yan, kahawig ni anong pangalan? Ariel Rivera. Taken na po siya. If you want only to see Brother Sherwin para maging masaya ka, this is not the church. Amen. Kaya kung pure yung intention mo, brothers and sisters, if you have this pure intention, Amen. Like what Zacchaeus did, every step na ginagawa niya, it was being transformed. I don't know. Hindi naman yung sinabi ang Panginoon, Oy, Zacchaeus, mayaman ka, pamigay mo naman yung, yung pera mo. No. From himself, when he saw the beauty of holiness of God, sabi niya, now I found you. Anong ko po itong kayamanan? Walang saysay ang kayamanan sa mundo. Sabi niya, Lord, I will give half of my goods to the poor. Hindi po iningi ng Panginoon yan. It comes from Him. Ang sabi niya, Lord, kung meron po akong dinaya, <laughs> Lord, ibabalik ko ng four times. I will return back four times sa Kanya. May sinabi ba ang Panginoon na ibalik niya? Wala. Because transformation begins from within. Ang pagbabago, it will start from you. If, it's, if Christ is in your heart, everything will change. Tandaan niyo po yan. If you want to be transformed, do not delay. Like Zacchaeus, you have all the reason, you have all the reason, amen, to stop seeing Jesus. But because what he did is extraordinary. Pumagta lang siya sa sycamore tree, Brother Brian. Imagine, Brother, Brother Ryan, pumunta lang sa sycamore tree and Jesus saw him and he called him by his name. Wow! This is extraordinary. Ang sabi po ng Panginoon, next verse, verse 9. And Jesus said unto him, This day, this day, this day is salvation come to this house for as much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Maybe you were lost a while ago, but now God found you. God found you here because Jesus is in our means. Amen. Jesus is in our means. Amen. Jesus is in our means. Amen. Kaya napakasarap ano po? If you want to be changed, nobody can push you to change. Nobody can urge you to change. But if you have this heart that you want to see Jesus, you want to worship Jesus, you want to magnify the Lord in the beauty of His holiness, nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. If the Bible will tell us, tell us about that, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. Meron kayong mga knee right now. Darating ang araw, kaharap tayo sa Kanya. At tayo po ay magdinil sa Kanya. Are you ready, church? How many of you right now wants to be transformed? You can raise your hands. We're sick and tired sa buhay na ito, di ba? It's just a routine life. Living life without Jesus is totally mess. Walang direction. Nasasayang lang yung araw. Nasasayang lang yung panahon. But if you will allow Jesus to come into your heart right now, brothers and sisters, hindi mo po may imagine ang buhay na nakay Kristo. Maybe you are observing, pumapunta ka dito, parang hindi napapagod ang mga tao dito. Yes, indeed. Hindi po kami mapapagod to share the Word of God. We will never get tired of sharing the Word of God. Because masaya po kami na naglilingkod sa Panginoon. 
Irregardless. Ano man mga status ng aming mga buhay, we are here to worship Him. But we need to bow down. We have to be you humble enough upang sa ganun maramdaman mo ang presensya ng Panginoon. You have to come down from your sycamore tree to be transformed. Otherwise, you will miss say Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you want to be prayed, you can go to this altar, brothers and sisters. You can surrender your life. We can go here. We can pray for you. Sabi mo, Lord, I'm, 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 I'm giving up, Lord. I don't want to live this kind of life, Lord. Gusto ko po, Panginoon, Lord, na ako, Panginoon, Lord, ay magbago. I want to be transformed, Lord. Ay, hindi na po ako masaya sa buhay na ganito. It's just a routine. It's just moving around. Parang circus. Amen. Ups and downs. I want to be set free. If you want to be prayed right now, you can, you can come here, brothers and sisters. We will pray for you. We will pray for you. Come on, church. Amen. Jesus. If you are ready to accept Jesus Christ, sabi nga kanina, if you want to see Jesus, if you want to see Jesus, you have to be born again. Yes, Lord, I'm a born again. I'm a Christian. But you want to be entered in the kingdom of God. If you want to be entered in the kingdom of God, my requirements of my Lord, you have to be washed away. Yung ating mga kasalanan, huwag sa ganun. Tayo po, ay papapatawarin ng Panginoon. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen, Jesus. Amen. Are you ready, church? Are you ready? Amen. We bow, Lord. We bow, Lord. Praises down to the ground in your presence, Lord. Without tears, we wash your feet. We bow low, we bow low, falling on our knees. We bow low, we bow low. To the
Jesus. Transform us, oh Lord God, Jesus. Transform us, oh Lord God, Jesus. Lord, do not allow, Panginoon, Lord, na lalabas kami, Panginoon, Lord, with the same life, oh Lord God, Jesus. We declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, set us free. Set us free. Set us free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, Lord God, Jesus. Lord, ayaw po namin, Panginoon Lord, na maremodeled lang kami, Panginoon Lord. We need to be rebuilt again. Renew our hearts and minds, O oh Lord God, Jesus. As we worship in spirit and in truth, O oh Lord God, Jesus. And most of them, Lord, bumabasa ka lang mga sikamore tree. I know, Lord God, Jesus, you are talking to them right now. Lord God, Jesus, set us free, O oh Lord God. Let your sons and daughters, Lord, feel your holy presence. O oh Lord God, Jesus, we magnify your name. We glorify your name, O oh Lord God, Jesus. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God bless you, church. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. Lahat po ay mawawala. Behold, everything is new. Amen. Praise God. Amen.